Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to illustrate probability of dependent and independent events. Differentiate between dependent and independent events. Solve problems involving dependent events. And solve problems involving independent events. Let's get started. On our previous lesson, we talked about the probability of union of two events, which can be in the form of mutually exclusive or non-mutually exclusive events. Both of these can be calculated using the addition rule and the conjunction uses in mutually and non-mutually exclusive is OR. Example of problem that we discussed in lesson 7 is the probability of getting a 4 or a face card in a deck of cards. Which means that we are going to solve the probability of getting a 4 or face card in a single draw of card in a deck. How about if the problem uses the conjunction N instead of OR? Example, picking two cards in a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability of getting a 4 and a face card in a deck of cards? Meaning that we are concerned in choosing two cards instead of a single card. One of the cards must be 4 and the other card should be a face card. That is what we're going to discover in this video. At this moment, we will talk about independent and dependent events. Both of these use the conjunction AND instead of OR. Thus, the operation that we're going to apply is multiplication. If the outcome of one event has no effect on the outcome of a second event, then the two events are called independent events. However, if the outcome of one event has an effect on the outcome of a second event, then the two events are called dependent events. If two events A and B are independent events, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of probability of A and probability of B. In symbol, that is probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. On the other side, if A and B are dependent events, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of probability of A and the probability of B given A. In symbol, that is probability of a and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B following A. Also, you have to remember that if there is a replacement, then we have an example of independent events. However, without replacement is for dependent events. For you to understand more about these two, let's have an example. Example number one. The two cards are drawn from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting a 4 and a face card. If the first card is returned before choosing the second card. Is this an example of independent events or dependent events? Correct. This is an example of independent events. Because there is a replacement, then the outcome of one event has no effect on the outcome of the second event. Thus, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. To solve this, we will start by probability of A or getting a 4 that is equal to 4 over 52. Since we have 4 possible outcomes out of 52 cards, times the probability of B, which is equal 
to 12 over 52 since we have 12 face cards out of 52 cards. Notice that the denominator is still 52 because we returned the first card we pick. Now we can solve 4 times 12 is equal to 48. 52 times 52 is equal to 2704. 48 divided by 2704 can still be simplified. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 16. 48 divided by 16 is equal to 3. 2704 divided by 16 is equal to 169. Therefore, the probability of getting a 4 and a face card is 3 over 169. Example number 2. The two cards are drawn from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting a 4 and a face card if the first card is not replaced in a deck before the second card is drawn. Again, is this an example of independent events or dependent events? Correct. This is an example of dependent events because there is no replacement, meaning the outcome of one event has an effect on the outcome of the second event. To solve this, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times probability of B following A. Let's start with probability of A, or getting a 4 is equal to 4 over 52. Since we have 4 possible outcomes out of 52 cards. Suppose that we choose 4 of clubs. We can now multiply it to the probability of B following A. That is equal to 12 over 51. Since we have 12 possible outcomes out of 51 cards. Notice that our denominator is 51. Since we already picked the four of clubs for the first card without replacement. Now we can solve 4 times 12 is equal to 48, then 52 times 51 is 2652. Notice that we can still simplify 48 over 2652 by dividing the numerator and denominator by 12. So we have 4 over 221. That is 48 divided by 12 is 4. 2,652 divided by 12 is 221. Thus, the probability of getting a 4 and a face card is equal to 4 over 221. Example number 3. In tossing a coin and rolling a die, find the probability that a coin shows up a head and a die shows up a 4. For this example, we have two experiments. Tossing a coin and rolling a die. Can you determine if this is an example of independent or dependent events? Correct. This is an example of independent events because the probability of getting a head in tossing a coin does not affect the probability of getting a 4 in rolling a die. Thus, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. The probability of A for getting head is 1 half. Since we have one head in a coin over two, since we have two possible results in tossing a coin, we have a head and a tail, times the probability of B, or a die shows up a four, is one over six. Since we only have one face of four in a die, and there are six possible results in rolling a die, we can now solve. 1 times 1 is equal 
to 1, and 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Therefore, the probability that the coin shows up ahead and a die shows up a 4 is 1 over 12. Example number 4. A jar contains 15 marbles, 10 blue and 5 green. Two marbles are drawn without replacement. What is the probability of getting both marbles are blue? Can you determine if this is an example of independent or dependent event? Correct. This is an example of dependent events because two marbles are drawn without replacement. Thus, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B following A. The probability of A or getting a blue marble is 10 over 15. Since we have 10 blue marbles out of 15 marbles in the jar times the probability of B following A or the probability of getting another blue marble is equal to 9 over 14. Since we only have 9 blue marbles out of 14 marbles in a jar, we can now solve 10 times 9 is equal to 90, 15 times 14 is equal to 210. We can still simplify by dividing the numerator and denominator by 30. 90 divided by 30 is 3 and 210 divided by 30 is 7. Therefore, the probability of getting both marbles are blue is 3 over 7. Example number 5. A jar contains 15 marbles, 10 blue and 5 green. Two marbles are drawn without replacement. What's the probability of getting exactly one marble is blue? Can you determine if this is independent or dependent event? Correct. This is an example of dependent events because two marbles are drawn without replacement. Thus, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times probability of B following A. That is, the probability of A or getting a blue marble is equal to 10 over 15 since we have 10 blue marble out of 15 marbles in a jar times the probability of B following A or the probability of getting not blue marble or green marble is equal to 5 over 14 since we have 5 not blue marble or green marble in a jar over the total number of marbles in a jar after we pick the first marble which is 14. Now we can solve 10 times 5 is equal to 50 then 15 times 14 is 210. 50 over 210 can still be simplified by dividing the numerator and denominator by 10. So we have 5 over 21. Since 50 divided by 10 is 5 and 210 divided by 10 is 21. Therefore, the probability of getting exactly one marble is blue is 5 over 21. Example number 6. A box contains 6 apples and 4 pineapples. Dominique randomly chooses one piece of fruit, eats it, and chooses another piece of fruit. What is the probability of he choose an apple, then a pineapple? Can you determine if this is independent or dependent events? Correct. This is an example of dependent events because this is an example of events without replacement. The keyword is he eats and chooses another piece. Thus, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B following A. 
the probability of A or choosing an apple is equal to 6 over 10. Since we have 6 apples out of 10 fruits in a box. Times the probability of B following A or getting a pineapple. That is 4 over 9. Since we have 4 pineapples out of 9 fruit left in a box after he eats 1 fruit. We can now solve 6 times 4 is equal to 24 and 10 times 9 is equal to 90. 24 over 90 can still be simplified by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 6. So we have 4 over 15. Since 24 divided by 6 is 4 and 90 divided by 6 is 15. Therefore, the probability of he choose an apple, then a pineapple, is 4 over 15. Example number 7. A jar contains 4 yellow marbles, 3 white marbles, and 5 red marbles. Beth draws a marble, then return it to the bag. She draws a second marble. What is the probability that the first marble is red and the second one is yellow? Do we have an independent or dependent event? Correct. This is an example of independent events. Because after picking the first marble, Beth returns it to the bag before she draws the second marble. In short, with replacement. Thus, we can use the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. The probability of A or getting a red marble is given by 5 over 12. Since we have 5 red marbles out of 12 marbles in a jar. After picking the first marble, Beth return it to the bag. Now, to find the probability of getting a yellow marble, we have 4 out of 12. Since we have 4 yellow marbles, and again, we have 12 marbles in a jar. We can now solve. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 12 times 12 is equal to 144. 20 over 144 can still be simplified by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 4. So we have 5 over 36. Since 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 144 divided by 4 is 36. Therefore, the probability that the first marble is red and the second one is yellow is 5 over 36. Mm -hmm.